name is Linda. And I've taught a new love. Until one day he raised his hand to my face. I thought it was a mistake, a one-time mistake. But the mistakes kept coming like a never-ending ache. He would apologize with tears in his eyes, promise to change, and swear to the skies. The next day, the next week, the next month, the circle continued. Like a deadly vicious hand. I was trapped in a prison with no key to escape. Afraid to make a mistake. Afraid to voice out. The fear was suffocating. The pain was real. I felt like I was dying piece by piece, little by little. But one day, I found my strength, my might. I realized I wasn't alone. I wasn't the only one in this fight. I broke the silence and slowly I began to heal, to mend, to make sense. Domestic violence, a secret kept hidden away, a shame that's carried. A bedding that's born each day, but I refuse to be ashamed. I refuse to be silent. I will speak out. I will rise up. I will make my voice violent. It's not just a woman issue. It's a human issue too. It's not just a personal problem. It is a side heart you. We need to talk about it. We need to raise awareness. We need to support survivors and hold abusers accountable with firmness. We need to teach our children, our boys and our girls that violence is never the answer, that love is not about control or chaos. We need to create a culture. We need love where healthy relationships are valued and domestic violence is rejected. So let's rise up. Let's break the silence. Let's make a difference. Let's create a world where love is not a weapon, where domestic violence is a thing of the past, a distant memory, a faint mention. I'm Linda. I'm a survivor. I am strong. I'm resilient and I'm a warrior. I will keep speaking up. I will keep rising until domestic violence is a thing of the past until it's enough so let's march together let's walk together let's rise up together let's make a difference together for a world where love is respected where love is kind where domestic violence and distant memory left behind we need to recognize the signs the red flags the warnings 
their controlled behavior, the jealousy, the constant scorning. We need to listen to our intuition, to trust our instincts, to speak out when we see something. It's not just stand and watch. To believe their stories, to offer them shelter, refuge, and a safe place to heal, we need to hold the abusers accountable. To make them face the consequences of their actions, the pain they've caused, the lives they've displaced. We need to teach our children about healthy relationships, about concern, respect, and communication. We need to model healthy behavior to show them what love looks like so they can grow up to be whole, to be strong, to be unbroken. We need to break the cycle, to end the generational curse, to stop the pain from passing down, to stop the hurt from getting worse. We need to heal, to mend, to restore, to create a world where love is pure, where love is kind, where love is more. So let's rise up, let's speak out, let's take a stand, let's create a world where love is respected. Where love is gone, where domestic violence is a thing of the past, where love is the answer, where love will forever last. <music>